Remember in this video series, we are following this kit here, which you can buy from modmypie.com. So head over to their website. The full link to buy this is in the description of this video. So we're at the final video in this series, which is video nine, the passive infrared sensor. So we have the, we have the script, the code nine underscore PIR dot PY, and we have a little passive infrared sensor. So this is actually the sort of thing you get inside a security camera you might have in a house or in like a, an office building, that type of thing. Uh, it's just the module that comes out of it that actually does the, the detection of infrared, which is the heat that us ugly humans give out. So this is the wiring diagram for it. There are no additional components other than the actual passive infrared sensor itself and just a bunch of wires to connect up. There's a, a power wire, the red one, the black one, and then we simply have um, a yellow cable just which connects up to the GPIO. Now for the astute among you, you will have noticed hopefully this additional wire here. Now what that is, that's the connection from the five volt rail to um, the top positive line. Now the passive infrared sensor needs a bit more power than the 3.3 volt um, wire. So we have to draw that from our five volt wire. So be careful wiring, be careful wiring that in, because um, obviously it's got a little bit more power there. Um, but we do need that for this particular circuit. So lesson nine. There's no new Python to learn in this particular one because all the methods and theories we've learned in previous videos along this series. So we're just gonna um, quickly just fly through it. So here is the code again. This is the complete comp code. It's just split down into one page. So we set up Python and the interpreter. We set up our GPIO pins to so the right um, input and output. We print to the screen some information so we know that we're waiting for um, that passive infrared module to run. We then set up some system variables to monitor the state. We have a while loop which runs continuously. Um, we then have some if statements and what they basically do, they check the status if there's um, been a high voltage or a low voltage. So when the passive infrared sensor um, is activated, it, no it picks up something moving, some motion. Um, it will send out a high voti uh, voltage and um, it will write to the screen uh, motion detected. Um, then what it will do is it will um, basically it will sleep for a second, set the low voltage back to low again, and if it hasn't uh, had a low voltage, it just skips over that to the else and just says we're ready, waiting for some um, voltage. We import time just to um, so it will check every 0 0.01 of a second for motion, and that's it. So this is the actual um, module that you have. You notice at the top there's the, the yellow pins and you've got the VCC, which is the positive voltage, the red wire. You've got the GND, which is for ground, which is the black wire, and the out, which goes to your GPIO on your Raspberry Pi. So let's have a look and see how we wire this up. So here we have our PIR sensor, passive infrared sensor. I found it easiest to wire this up first um, before doing the rest of the um, breadboard so let's just connect up we put the red to the 5 volt rail the new 5 volt rail we just connected or we will connect in a minute even um, obviously whatever color we want to the GPIO and then the black to the grounds so once we've done this um, it's great because we've got a bit of uh, cord on this allowing us a bit of movement um, but we now need to connect up the voltage wire so we're just going to connect this up to the 5 volt rail and make sure you don't connect this to anything other than the spare top voltage line. Um, you may blow stuff up if you do it to anything other than that. So connect it to that uh, that new spare voltage rail there. there. There's the five volt going in. Okay, here's our passive infrared sensor. So we're just gonna connect up our um, voltage line to the new five volt rail. There it goes. Gonna connect our ground to the ground and we're just gonna put our um, GPIO pin just anywhere and then we're going to get a spare wire to connect up the two so from our GPIO pin connecting up to the passive infrared sensor and there we go so now let's set up and run our code so again make sure you're in the correct directory and there we have our 9 underscore PIR Python code it's going to run uh, clear the screen and then run sudo python 9 underscore PIR clearly can't type today there we go 
and you can see now it's ready to receive a signal so here is a uh, in the real world again they're a little bit out of sync because they weren't filmed at the same time but my hand runs across it it picks up the passive infrared sensor print motion detected to the screen you'll notice in the bottom uh, actually it's set up to trigger off the red LED when it actually goes off as well so I'll turn the light off you can see that a bit clearer run my hand across it and there the red LED goes on to say that you've actually um, triggered it off so if you want to learn a bit more about programming and Python after all of this big series I recommend that you go to Code Academy's website and follow their fantastic interactive website because they can teach you more there than I can do in my videos. Thank you for watching. So if you like these videos, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and subscribe to the YouTube channel. So this is the last in the series of the GPIO and Python learning. I hope it's been useful for everybody and you've all bought the kits from ModMyPy. If you have any questions, drop me um, them in the comments field below. And I hope everyone's had fantastic fun. I'd love to see some video responses if everybody's project's working. Um, it'd be great to see. And hope you've all enjoyed it. Thank you.